father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a fully cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. In today's video slash showcase, I'm gonna be showcasing on how to play PlayStation 1 slash PS3 games on an external hard drive. And this will be episode nine from my Hen and Han tutorial series. If you guys wanna stay up to date, I do recommend to go ahead and check out my official playlist that I have all of my videos in chronological order. So if you have a PlayStation 3 that's on 4.85 firmware, you could still follow along with this and you could go from all the way up to episode one all the way up to episode nine and you could get up to date and you could see all of the cool things you could do via on hen and han such as you know play ps1 games play playstation 2 titles um you know dump backups run the retro arc you know install themes and all of that cool stuff but that being out the way as well i do highly recommend to go ahead and check out my social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials for my channel the best way on how to know when i update via for my hen and han tutorials or any tutorials I drop whether it be for the ps3 vita or ps4 is by hitting that notification button being subscribed to me of course and by following my twitter because that's where i usually update my fan base on when i drop my latest content as well if you do want to be in a mix of things or if you just need support for um this topic or just want to join my discord i recently made in discord not too long ago so you could join via in the link in the description down below or as showcased on the screen whether in your web browser you could go ahead and type that link in to like google chrome and join from that way not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding scene but as i stated before let's say if you having trouble with this issue or you have a question about like the Vita and all of its Henkaku stuff or like the PS4 um, you could go ahead and feel free to ask in my discord I have those support channels and I got people who are out to help for if you have any issues in terms of modding your device but that being stated out the way as well um, if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form in terms of donations you can feel free to um, donate to me by my PayPal any of the money that I may receive will help with the overall development of my channel and it will go straight back into my channel so it will help with things such as you know research buying better things for for me in terms of equipment like a microphone um you know a console to showcase on you know basically on this channel and all of that fun stuff as well if you do want to support me in terms of my development of my channel and you want to help me see me grow um i basically have a patreon and you could join via or if you want to become a patreon excuse me you could join via in the link in the description down below i will have that or you could just type in a link that is showcased right now on the screen by supporting me on patreon as stated before same thing Thing that goes with PayPal it just helps with the overall development for my channel and it helps me grow in terms of you know providing the best quality content for you guys but with all that fun stuff getting out the way in terms of donations of course that is purely optional we're gonna go ahead and get started on today's prerequisites and as all my videos um state everything I will have in the link in the description below with the URL link so first things first you need any PlayStation 3 it doesn't matter if it's a fat slim or super slim as long as your system is on 4.85 or lower this can't be done on higher firmware so as of right now 4.85 as I'm recording September 19th 2019 is the latest firmware so basically if you on the latest firmware you can still do this process um all you have to do is just follow along in terms of Han and Hen and make sure you already have the latest versions installed on your console so that's why I do recommend go ahead and check out my official playlist since I always keep up to date in terms of the Hen and Han scene as well if there's anything new. So if you need to get your system, you know, available with Hen and Han, go ahead and install that. But um, for this process, all you need is any PlayStation 1 game that is in .bin, Q, or ISO format. So if you have any PlayStation 1 games such as like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Tekken, it doesn't matter. As long as if it's in the ISO and BIN and Q format, you can do this process as well um if you have any playstation 3 game that is in iso format you can do this i'm not too sure with game folders if this will work it's possible but i'm never tested it out that way if you guys have playstation 3 games that are in folder format you basically need to go ahead and convert them into isos or just get iso dumps from wherever online i will have a card show
showcase right now on how to basically convert your games from an older excuse me an older video I made which I will teach you in that video on how to take a ps3 game folder and turn it into an ISO so you could you know use it for this process so assuming that you got your games whether it be ps1 or ps3 um some other prerequisites of course we need is the multi-man hen version or you need the hen version of multi-man excuse me and you also need the hen version of webman I will both have those in a link in the description as well you also need a USB stick that is formatted to FAT32 and you will need also an external HDD USB device that is formatted to NTFS. No right here now all HD devices are compatible and yours may vary so I for me for example I have about three HDDs that I use with the PlayStation 3 and one of them basically doesn't work with my PS3 however my one terabyte Seagate and also the one I will be showcasing right now the Kesu one um if you want to go ahead and check that out I will have the link in the description down below for the um hard drives I use as well for this process um because I know there is a factor that some hard drives just completely won't work Work, even if you format it to NTFS on your PlayStation 3 and that goes with um, CFW and also hen systems as well as well for the most part you could follow this along if you're on custom firmware as well but this is just strictly for more for hen users but basically it's the same process with all that fun stuff getting out the way in terms of the prerequisites and the hard drives and all that stuff I just want to give a special thanks out to the PlayStation 3 exploit dev team for you know making this possible and you know all of the supporters in terms of like multi-man what man all of those developers who work hard on this stuff on their free time shouts out to you guys but with all that fun stuff getting out the way we're going to go ahead and get started on the pc side of things and then we're going to go ahead and get started Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're going to go ahead and get started on the PC side of things. But first, before we get into all of this, I do like to state all of the files and just showcase what we need to do first and just to set up so we are on the same page. So as showcased here, here's the hen version of Multiman. I will have this in a link in the description down below since we need it for today's process. Um, Here is also Webman Mod, which is also needed for today's process as well, since I already stated that in the... um prerequisites but what we also need for today and I didn't mention this in the actual intro and I do apologize for this but we'll also need this file called prep ntfs.pkg and this is basically gonna once we have all of our games onto our external hard drive device or so our PS3 games and also PlayStation 1 games um this will basically help us install via with webman so what prep ntfs actually does it preps our ntfs hard drive so it could scan all of our games within web man mod so not only in today's video I'm going to be showcasing on how to do this with Multiman. I'm also going to be showcasing on how to install this with Webman as well. But with that being stated out the way in terms of those three PKG files, here are the two folders that we're going to be mainly focusing on today. And I highly recommend as of right now, what we need to do on our desktop is to go ahead and create a new folder if you haven't already. So create a new folder and you want to name it as PS3 ISO if you're going to be doing PS3 games. If you're going to do PSX ISO and also ps3 games as well um you want to go ahead and rename it or in your new folder you want to rename a folder to ps3 iso as i have it in all caps and if you're going to do playstation 1 games you're going to rename it as psx iso so if you're going to be doing um two game folder sets i recommend doing that now but what we want to do is go ahead in your ps3 iso folder that you just created is to go ahead and dump all of your PlayStation 3 games into this folder and make sure they're in ISO format. If they're in a game folder format, as I stated um, in the intro, I have a card on basically to showcase on how to take a PlayStation 3 game folder and rebuild it as an ISO. So if your games are in folder format, go ahead and check out that video. But assuming that your games are in ISO format, go ahead and in your PS3 ISO folder, just go ahead and dump all of your games here. And for your PlayStation 1 games, go ahead and create your folder as PSX ISO as stated before. And you want to go ahead and put all of your ISO or your bin and Q format games into here. So I know all of mine say that it's on ISO since I converted them to an ISO image. However, the bin and Q format works as well. So as you've seen here, um, I have Persona and they are in bin and Q. So once you have all of your games into basically both directories, let me go ahead and showcase the ps3 on both sides of the screen so you guys can see but once you have your games showcased on both sides 
of the screen so you have one all in iso and been acute you're basically already done um depending on how many games you're doing and depending on how big your hard drive is i only think basically uh one terabyte external hard drives work for this process um and lower so if you have a under or basically the cap is one terabyte however you have a low usb drive or external usb drive device that is lower you can still do it for this process but once you have your games all into your folders into the correct method i just showed you well, what we need to do now is go ahead and open up file explorer on our usb and we need to go ahead and plug in our usb device so here is my regular usb device the one that we need to format to fat32 just so we can install our pkg so what we need to do now is hover over our usb device go into properties and we need to make sure that our file systems in fat32 if your thing states that it's on ntfs or xfat what we need to do for this process is to reformat it so if you have any contents on your usb drive i just want mine clean earlier so i have none of my uh, data on here but if you have data that you want to keep go ahead and back it up just put it on your desktop or just put it on a U another USB device because anytime you reformat your hard drive and this will go for the extent excuse me the same with the external hard drive we're going to be using today um it's going to wipe all of your data clean so assuming that y'all guys understand that process what we're going to do is right click over our USB drive go into format make sure your capacity is the highest if your file system is on NTFS or XFAT just go ahead and hit FAT32, allocation unit size, just go to default, volume label, it doesn't matter, you can just name it anything, I just named mine Sony. Make sure you have this toggled on to quick format and then just hit start once you do that and then you'll get another error saying formatting this disk will basically wipe your drive clean. If you understand that, just hit OK. And then from there, what should happen, you'll get a little notification on your screen saying format complete. All you gotta hit is OK, exit out, go back into your file explorer, and then from here on your USB drive, and if you right click it, your thing should be formatted or your file system should state that it's on FAT32. Once you have your USB that is formatted to FAT32, what we're going to do is go ahead and take our three PKG files that I stated we need for this video. Just get them from the link in the description down below. You're going to put them to the root of our USB drive, and we're going to go ahead and install this later. So that's basically we got one part done for this now what we need to do is go ahead and plug in our USB drive of choice so here's the Kessel one I got from Amazon not too long ago and as showcased here I already put my games onto my USB flash drive so all you would have to do um, as showcased here I'm gonna showcase the whole step on doing this but this is how it will look you'll basically just drag and drop the folders PSX ISO and you can see all my games into the root of this folder right here but we need to go ahead and verify that our thing is on NTFS. So if I go into my properties, if your file system is already on um, NTFS, go ahead and you could just drag and drop your folder. But let's say if your thing is basically on um, XFAT, what you need to do is just do the same steps, go into format. And then if your thing is on XFAT like this, go into NTFS, make sure your capacity is the highest size, your allocation unit, just go to default. Um, your volume label, this is what you can name your USB hard drive. I'm just going to leave mine to Kessel. And then make sure you have quick format on. So once you have all of that on, all you're going to have to do is hit start. Then hit OK. As I stated before, if you have any important documents, make sure to back them up. But once I reformat my hard drive, you're going to see that I have none of my data here. And then basically what I have to do is just drag and drop my new content. So if I go back into File Explorer go to my uh, external HCD device, go into properties. You can see that I have none of my contents here and you can see that my thing is on NTFS. So what we need to do once we have our hard drive of choice um, formatted correctly to NTFS, um, those two folders that I told you to make earlier in the video, all we gotta do is just take our PS3 games and PSX ISO games, whether in an ISO and BenQ format, and then just drag it and drop it to our hard drive. Now, as showcased here, it's gonna take a while for me to do this since I have a ton of games. If you're trying to test this out just to see if your hard drive is compatible, if you don't have like the one I have in my video or like the Seagate one, I'll showcase in the link in the description down below. Um, make sure to go ahead and you know just test out one game before you know doing a bunch since it'll be a waste of time but i already know for a fact that this hard drive works with this process since i've already used it on three other different playstation 3s of mine but with that being getting out the way as well what i'm going to do is cut the video right here as it shows here it's going to take about two hours 
um, to copy all of my data but once um it's fully done I'm gonna come back and then uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and install the PlayStation 3 package file and we also going to um, install you know the game so we could showcase on webman and multiman so I'll meet you guys for that process a few moments later Alrighty guys, so after waiting about like two hours for all my games to copy it over, everything is now finished. So if you see on my external HDD device, so let me go ahead and open it up so you guys can see the full thing. You can see all of my games are now into my PS3 ISO folder and it goes the same with the PlayStation 1 stuff. So you can see all of my games are now into this one folder here. What we need to do now is just go ahead and close out of this window. And what we need to do from here is go to show hidden icons and safely remove our external hard drive as well as our USB drive that we put our package files in. So I'm just going to go ahead and eject my um, USB drive or my external one now. So the external one I could pull out from my PC. And now what we're going to do is do the same for the one with the package file. So let me go ahead and hover over my USB drive. I'm doing my cruiser which is the FAT32 one. And now once you basically safely ejected out both of the USB drives from your um, PC, what we need to do as of right now is go to the PlayStation 3, plug in both of our USBs, so our external hard drive with the games, as well as the one with the package files. And what we need to do first is go ahead and get all of that set up on the PS3 side of things. So I'll meet you guys for that. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, we're back onto the PlayStation 3. Assuming that you already have your USB stick in and also with your external hard drive, what we need to do is go ahead and enable HEN first. So I'm assuming that you already have enabled or basically 4.85 HFW and HEN already installed onto your system. Of course, you don't have to do this if you're on custom firmware, but if you're using a HEN system, you need to do this. So go ahead and enable HEN first. And then once you get the little notification that states that um hen is now open what you should see here is basically um that package manager you can now install packages so from here what we need to do is go to install package files go into standard and then what we need to do is install all of our files that we just placed on our usb the easiest way on how to do this is hit triangle over standard so we can install all at once and then once we're all done all we have to do is just install each package file so for me i already have all of these installed on your system or on my system but for you guys if you if it's your first installation you won't get that little message stating that um you know your my content's already there so I'm just waiting for it to do its thing as of right now. But once all of our uh, package files have successfully installed, so Webman, Multiman, and also Prep NTFS, the first thing what we're going to do is go ahead and get Webman installed. So I already know, or you basically see that um, Webman game is already installed on my system, but you won't have this folder yet. What we need to do is go ahead first to install Webman is to go ahead and hover over our thing. So if you want the full edition, once we boot into um, the game, we need to hold L1. So once you immediately see the black screen, um, hold down L1 and your PS3 reset. And basically for the light edition, go ahead and hit X. So in my case, I want the full edition. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit X and then immediately hit L1 as of right now. And then my system will restart. Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the PlayStation 3 once again, and now Hen has, or basically not Hen, excuse me, but Webman has been installed. What we need to do is go ahead and enable Hen for the second time. So let me go ahead and do that for this process. So just wait for the little notification to pop up on your screen. Okay, so there go Hen. Now what we need to do, once we have that, you should see your Webman games folder. So if you already see your Webman games folder, um, already booted up onto the screen what we need to do is go ahead and you know just verify that you can see your games so what we need to do as of right now once we have webman fully installed we need to go ahead and make sure your uh, external hard drive with your games on it we need to basically use prepare ntfs drives for webman so let me go ahead and run that homebrew as well so all you would have to do is just run it and then your system will restart again and then basically we need to run hen and then we need to get multi-man set up for this process Alrighty, so once you've done that step in terms of installing Webman and also installing the NTFS driver prep um, thing for Webman, what we need to do now is go ahead and boot up Multiman. So the first thing what we need to do now is to enable HEN one more time. 
and that's just the down effect of having a hand enabled PlayStation 3 rather than custom firmware. You always have to do it at boot, just like a uh, PlayStation Vita running Hankaku. But once you enabled hand and you get the successful notification, what we need to do is go ahead and run a multi man. So go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so we're in Multiman right now. If it's your first time running Multiman, you'll just get the terms of service. I recommend go ahead and read it if it's your first time um you know installing this. But I've ran Multiman over a thousand times. So I'm just gonna skip that step. So all you would have to do is click yes through it if you already, you know read through that or you just want to skip that step but once on um, multi-man has booted up onto our system there are some things what we need to go ahead and verify so once it's applying the standard theme we need to go ahead and switch some settings over so make sure your usb or excuse me your external hard drive is now in it's already recognizing mine since i already had it previously set up but what you need to do here let's go scroll all the way to the left of it where it's on the multi-man um manager column and what we need to do is go ahead and click this option where it says scan connected ntfs usb drives so what it will do is basically scan all of the playstation 1 and ps3 games that are in iso or bin format on your drive so that's what i'm doing here so once that um is done doing its thing in terms of you know finishing the drive or basically searching my ntfs drive for all the games multi-man will successfully reboot itself and then if we go scroll all the way over to our games column, what should happen, you should see all of your games are now in ISO format. And if you notice, um, here's the disc based game I already have on my PlayStation 3, which is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. But if you see here, um, when the one I highlighted, you can see Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare, where it says NTFS ISO, you could tell that it's running off my external hard drive. So all of my games like GTA 5, 4, um, Hatsune Miku, NSUD, and such and so forth is running most mostly all off my NTFS drive. To check if your games are working as well, um, you should just automatically see it. You can see that it's running off my hard drive and it's NTFS. So for this process, what I'm gonna do first is just go ahead and run any game of choice. So in this case, I'm just gonna choose um, Tekken. I'll use Tekken for this, for the PlayStation 1 game. So once you have all your games that you see it, just go ahead and load your game of choice. And once you load your game of choice right now back onto the PlayStation 3, you'll see that you have your PlayStation disc like if it was actually in there while it's really just running the ISO dump or bin dump you already have on your hard drive. So all we need to do now is just test if the game runs. So that's what I'm going to do here. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, you can already see that my game is now booting up. Once um. If I hold down basically uh, the PlayStation button, there are some cool options you can do for the PlayStation 1 titles. So if you go to other settings in the screen mode, you can make it full. You can also add smoothing on, which basically um, it makes kind of the image or the graphics kind of not have those jagged edges. So it smooths out the image on your HDD TV. So I do recommend doing that since um, with the out or basically without it, PS1 games kind of look dated, even though it won't do much of uh, you know improvement in terms of the graphics, it will make it look better. Um, some of the controlling settings, if you need to put your game into analog mode or digital, you can. If you want vibration, you could turn it on and you could also resign controllers. And if you want to do memory card slots and stuff like that, if you already have them set up, you could put your save data onto your memory slots. But with that getting out the way, um, you can see that this is Tekken running now on my hand enabled PlayStation 3. Let me go ahead and just showcase that the game is now running just fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose any random character and then yeah from here basically that's how you essentially run ps1 games so i'm just gonna showcase that the game is now running in full time but with that being out the way as well i'm gonna go ahead and quit out this game and now we're gonna do another game with an um basically multi-man as well for the playstation 3 side of things Alrighty guys, so I'm back into multi-man. What we need to do now, or what I'm gonna showcase is that my game is now running off my external hard drive. So what I'm going to do here is just load up, um, I'll use Call of Duty Modern Warfare, why not? So I'll use Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And now as you can see here, if I scroll all the way up back onto my X and B, you can see that Call of Duty Modern Warfare has loaded up successfully. All we need to do now is just run the game like a normal PlayStation 3 disc. And now as showcased here, you can see that Call of Duty Modern Warfare is now booting up. 
let me go ahead and turn my TV down a little bit so the audio is not coming into the microphone but yeah you can see that Call of Duty Modern Warfare is now um, booting up on my PlayStation 3 um, you can see that um, the disc is now loading up onto the X and B so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and quit out of this game and then I'm gonna go into Multiman or excuse me Webman to get this installed all right guys, so we already quitted out of Call of Duty on Modern Warfare. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and run Redman Games. So in Redman settings, there are some things I do recommend before doing this because I know there are some issues. So what we need to do is go ahead and refresh my games, use this option right here. And what it's gonna do is refresh the XML and it's gonna scan all your games that is now on your uh, device or your external device. So whatever PS3 games or PS1 games, it will now um, scan it from Webman. As well, we're going to do back into Webman setup or our settings from here. We're going to go to refresh web game list. And then once we have that, you should see all of your games are now are within this folder right here. So what we need to do is go ahead and just run any game of choice. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to run another PlayStation 3 game. So I'm going to do Kingdom Hearts 2.5. And then as you see here, it's now loading from the um, USB drive itself. And now Kingdom Hearts 2 has now successfully loaded from the Webman mod. So all we have to do is go ahead and close out of our browser by hitting circle. And now you can see that Kingdom Hearts 2, or excuse me, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 is now on my PlayStation 3. And right now I'll show that it's now running. So let me go ahead and boot into the game. And as showcased here, here is Kingdom Hearts now running on my PlayStation 3 without the disc, of course. And I'm just going to showcase that the game is now going to boot into its main menu. So I'm waiting for it to do its thing. So you can clearly see that the game is running fine. But yeah, that's essentially how you get this set up with Webman and also with Multiman as well. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment down below. If you have any questions on, you know, basically how to set this up, you can feel free to join my Discord. But with all that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.